And now it's time for development debates, where we dig deeper into some of the questions shaping the future and present of China. Today, we'll discuss the debate on the gains and losses of Chinese small investors in gold. Due to the strong signs of economic recovery in the U.S., gold prices have dropped 1.8 percent to below $1,200 an ounce. This is the lowest price level in 56 months and more than 20 percent lower than that in April of 2013. At that time, the market was shocked by the emergence of a new group of small investors, 50-year-old Chinese women. They swept up cheaper gold and had such an impact on the market that they were dubbed Chinese Dama by the Wall Street Journal. But currently, these new small investors are facing a financial dilemma. The price of gold continues to drop, and most financial institutions believe prices will drop further. Goldman Sachs even expects the price of gold to drop to $1,050 per ounce within the year. Some experts even predict gold to drop to $660 per ounce. Due to the continued drop in gold prices, many believe that Dama's actions in buying gold was a financial failure. Tianjian.com posted an article supporting this point of view. The article particularly indicates that the Dama's purchasing power is insignificant to the oligarchs on Wall Street. The article indicates that even though the gold prices rose slightly early this year, the current price level is low enough that most of the Dhammas are trapped in the market. With gold in their hands now cheaper than when they bought it, selling gold means definite losses for these Dhammas. Another article from Tianjian.com further explains why the Dhammas failed. The article concludes that the Dhammas tend to follow financial trends. When they saw gold prices drop, the Dhammas jumped on the chance to buy cheaper gold. But what they didn't see was that the high gold prices had been a result of America's quantum easing, or QE. With both the tapering of QE and American economic recovery, the U.S. dollar strengthened against gold. The Damas failed to see this and trapped themselves in the plunging gold market. The article predicted a strong U.S. dollar for a considerable amount of time. This makes the possibility of the Damas escape from their gold investment failures nearly impossible. There are also some who think Damas' investment in gold is not yet a failure. Song Xin, chairman of the China Gold Association, expects a boom of the Chinese gold market to counteract the effects of the American economic recovery and tapering of QE. The Chinese gold market is now the largest gold market in the world, after surpassing India in 2013. Song expects the future of the Chinese gold market to be much stronger considering the increasing number of wealthy individuals. Thus, he believes the gold bought by the Damas will appreciate significantly in the long term. A more radical comment came from commentator Liang Haiming. Liang considers Dama's investment as a success. He believes that even after the tapering of QE, the supply of the U.S. dollar is still too high. He predicts that the long-term trend in the U.S. economy will remain dim. Thus, he thinks that gold prices could even go as high as $2,000 per ounce within two to three years. This is a much higher price level compared to the price of gold when most Dama's invested. Whether Chinese Dhammas can benefit from their gold investments will be determined in the future. But Chinese Dhammas represent an economic trend brought by the economic development in China. This is a sign of growing wealth in Chinese society. Currently, the interest of Chinese Dhammas in gold has calmed down. Now they are diversifying their investments and spreading their influence elsewhere.